This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. Today we will be taking a look at the 2015 AMC 10A problem number 17. A line that passes through the origin intersects both the line x equals 1 and the line y equals 1 plus root 3 over 3x. The three lines create an equilateral triangle. What is the perimeter of the triangle? Okay, to begin with, we can start out by drawing a picture to try to give us a better idea of what we're trying to do here. So, let's do this. It's going to be X, it's going to be Y. Now, the first uh, line is X equals 1, so that would be right here. Somewhere, let's say right here. And then the second one is y equals 1 plus root 3 over 3x. So y intercept is right here, which is also 1. And then root 3 over 3, mm, let's say. Something like this. Okay, so now we need to try to find the third line in order to uh, pinpoint two vertices. And then we can use that to find the side length and then multiply that by 3 to get the perimeter. So since one of the lines is vertical, and since equilateral triangles have symmetry in all of its sides, that means the third line is going to be the opposite slope of uh, this line. So it would be negative root 3 over 3. And since it passes through the origin, that means it's just going to be negative root 3 over 3. So what I mean by that is the equation is just going to look like this. y equals negative root 3 over 3 x. So if we plot that, you would get something like that. Right? And so our equilateral triangle would be right here. Now that we know that, we can see that the two easiest vertices we need uh, can be just located on the x equals 1 line, which would be this one and this one. These are the easiest vertices to find the coordinates of, right? Because all you need to do is plug in 1 for x in these two equations to get it. So when we do that, we get that the in the first one we get y equals 1 plus root 3 over 3, and the next one we get y equals negative root 3 over 3. So the two coordinates would be 1, 1 plus root 3 over 3, and 1, negative root 3 over 3. Now we can just use, we can just uh, use the distance to find uh, the distance between the uh, two vertices and multiply that by 3. And we don't need to use the distance formula right here because it's all on one vertical line which makes this really easy for us because the x coordinates are anchored so we just need to subtract the bigger uh, y value from the smaller y value to get our uh, distance. So that would be 1 plus root 3 minus minus oh, minus negative root 3 I should say negative root 3 over 3 right and then the negative the two negatives become positive and you get 1 plus 2 root 3 over 3 and now we need to multiply, multiply this by 3 so this and this would give us our final answer of 3 plus 2 root 3 